Hi, in today's tutorial, I will be showing you how you can create a simple time freeze motion effect. So here's the sample. So you have the person running in and he gets frozen midway and then uh, the second person comes in, laughs at him and he runs out of the scene. And following that, the first person gets unfrozen and he also goes ahead and runs out of the scene. So to begin, you're going to need a new composition. So we're just going to go ahead and create a new composition. I'm going to name it Time Freeze and I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. So with this new composition, we're going to have to first put in our raw video. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how you can shoot your video for this time freeze effect. So here's how the original video looks like. So you have the first person running across the scene and, and the second person would run in and also across the scene after the first person and he's going to imagine that there's an invisible frozen person over here so at this point he's going to imagine an invisible person right here so we begin by just dragging this raw video right into our scene and here I'm going to just going to find where the part where the person enters the first person enters the video and I'm going to trim the excess and I'm going to just align it back to zero so here I'm going to go right until here so this is where I want this person to be frozen let's say around here so here I'm just going to press Control shift D to cut and I'm going to name the first layer start because that's where the video is going to start and if I zoom in on my timeline for time freeze, we're just going to use one frame. So right here, I'm going to press page down to go to the second frame of the second layer. So you can see in between, there's a small gap here. This is one frame. So that will be our freezing frame. So here, I'm going to just cut again. And I'm going to name this one frame as freeze. And here, I'm going to just bring my playhead to the place until he goes out of the screen. So here, I'm going to just cut. And I'm going to name this third layer and so we need a fourth layer, which is the overlay layer, so that we can create the freeze effect. So remember the second person, so we're going to just go look for the second person. Where uh, the place he comes in, over here, okay, over here. And here I'm just going to trim the SS video, alright. And I'm going to name this layer, called the overlay layer. Alright, and then I'm just going to go ahead and find the place, the time, where this person exits the screen, like over here. And I'm going to trim all the excess by pressing Ctrl Shift D and just deleting the extra layer. Alright, so that's it. So now I'm going to bring my playhead right to the first, right to the place where the time freeze begins. Something to note is that this simple effect, we're going to have the overlay run behind the frozen subject. So we're gonna bring this overlay right to the bottom of all the layers of the timeline and I'm just gonna align it to the same time as where the freeze begins and for the end layer it will happen right after the, the second person goes out of the screen. So I'm gonna align that to this place, okay I'm gonna just align that and now for the freeze. So here we're gonna enable a time remapping so we can control the time. So just go ahead and right click on the layer go to time and choose enable time remapping so by enabling time remapping we can use keyframes to control the duration of each frame so here we're going to add two keyframes for the start and the end of the freeze layer so in between these two keyframes is actually one frame so i'm going to drag the second keyframe away from the first so that i can make sure that this frame stays long enough on the screen you can see it's practically frozen like this. So the further apart they are, the longer the freeze. So coming to the end here, I'm just going to just match this, right, like this. So the keyframe matches the end of the overlay layer and the freeze ends at the overlay layer as well. So now here you get a really cool freeze effect. So the, the person is getting frozen and then he gets unfrozen. Alright, so but one thing right now you don't see the overlay layer because it's completely covered by this freeze layer. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask out the entire background on this freeze layer so that the overlay layer will show up. 
So by doing that, we're going to use the pen tool to create the mask. Okay, but before you start using the pen tool, we're going to have to select the freeze layer first. So here, we're just going to carefully, I'm going to just carefully mask, trace around the outside of the character. Like this. Alright. If you're doing this, make sure your pen, your pen tool, your tracing is actually accurate enough so that it will not create the fake effect, it will be a little bit more realistic. So here I'm just going to draw the mask around it. Alright, so in this case, the second person actually doesn't run, doesn't intersect with the legs around here. So at any other intersection point, I can just, other than the intersection point, I can just simply draw around here and I'm just going to join back at this pants here where the intersection continues. So I'm just going to draw a heat angle. I'm just going to draw around, around this character, alright, like this, and yeah, so once I've joined the path, you can see the second character, the overlay layer actually appears, so you can see now he gets frozen, and the second character appears, laughs at him, goes, runs behind him, and goes out of the scene, and then he gets unfrozen after that, and he follows after. So that's a simple way to create a time freeze. So for color wise, you can just apply color grading effect to it. And for any other effects, you can just go ahead and experiment with yourself. So this is a simple time freeze tutorial. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time.